she changed from one direction into another. Right. Due to her faith and due to her belief, it made him sit there and say, hey, is there really something to this? Well, what do you think about that, about a person you're being close to in your life really making that change for you? You know, he saw some, some drastic changes in his wife's life, and um, she, I guess she began to evolve in him, using the word evolve. <laughs> Okay. Uh, she <laughs> she began to to evolve mm -hmm. into something unique, something mm -hmm. special. And I think he was really curious because she was really, to me, based on what I've read. Um, I haven't read his biography, but to me, she really believed um, what she believed, and I think that uh, she was willing to even defend that, even though she might have had limited knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, when she got converted, and but the change in her is what I think he really was looking at, and I think he really wanted to understand this more, and so he decided to do more research. As far as my life is concerned, I think mm -hmm. that uh, um, I, I wasn't always a believer, and and mm -hmm. I, I I grew up in that environment. I, I grew up in a pious environment and I rebelled against it. Right. And uh, when I attended college, mm -hmm. that's when my eyes began to open. Mm -hmm. Even though um, as a teenager, I, I accepted the, the, the teachings of my parents and the church. When I went to college, I rebelled against that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because um, I, felt, I felt like I just couldn't um, reach up to par so to speak, uh, because of this sinless perfection uh, doctrine that was imposed upon me. And so I decided to study world religion, and I studied world religion in college. I uh, looked at the various different beliefs that are out there, and then I also studied Christianity very well. Based on, just like um, Lee Strobel, uh, based on my findings, mm -hmm. Um, I realized that Christianity was the, 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 the one religion where I didn't have to work. I realized that as a human being, that no matter how hard I try, uh, I could never be perfect. Because um, there is this war that's going on in my mind. There's a battle between good and evil that constantly um, going on in my mind. And so uh, I, I realized that I needed a savior. And, and uh, just by studying and doing some research in regard to Christianity, I realized that that is the, the one religion that, um, that, that would work. But it's not so much that, that it would work, but it makes a lot of sense. And uh, not only that, too, but uh, you can look at uh, uh, Christianity, you can also look at science and see how they relate. Mm -hmm. Which I think was one of the big things about Strobel writing this book. And of course, mm -hmm. besides the case for Creator, he has a case for Christ and the case for faith. Uh, and, and some other things that he uses real scientific kind of a, um, argumentation to prove his points is obviously if you write a book about Christianity and you use science and you interview scientists mm -hmm. to give their points in, in, in the case of either defending Christ mm -hmm. or defending a creator, you're making a cause for a creator, then you'd have to believe that there's things in science or religion that are not necessarily against each other but are complementary. Right. in a sense. So that's even one of the questions that, that I had and I think we talked a little bit about, which is um, does science enhance faith or does it deter from faith? Science, I believe, enhances mm -hmm. faith. Uh, I believe more and more scientists uh, beginning to realize um, that, that there is indeed a creator. Mm -hmm. um, those scientists that study uh, Darwin's um, origin of species or evolution, uh, there's scientists that study, um, some of them study with Stephen Hawkins mm -hmm. and, and the various uh, different scientists. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of them are beginning to realize that there is indeed a creator, so it definitely will enhance um, one's faith. But but I also think, mm -hmm. in addition to that, mm -hmm. that it would take a lot of faith 
for one not to believe in a creator. Um, there's, there's a book, you know, um, um, I don't have enough faith to be an atheist, right, which right. means that, that you do have to have faith even to be an atheist. But I think that the science itself, as far as <coughs> a theist is concerned, you, mm -hmm. you do, um, it does increase your faith because of the findings. Uh, right. You know, we talk about the cells, the complexity of the cell itself, um, the complexity of the universe. Um, in, 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 the, in the book, Case for a Creator, there are four icons mm -hmm. that, that, that are mentioned. The, one of them has to do with the uh, Tree of Life right. by Darwin. Mm -hmm. and, and according to Darwin's theory, mm -hmm. um, everything that exists today has a common ancestor. Mm -hmm. And so whether it's just a single cell or, or it's, it's, it's something else yeah, that it's evolved. Background, right, right, right. It, it evolved over the, uh, over the years. Yeah. Um, I, I think even, even if that's the case, yeah. uh, it, it still doesn't refute um, that the existence of a God. No, it doesn't refute and, and, um, and so definitely science you know, would, would increase or enhance ones. I agree, I agree. Right. One of the points, and, and this comes from the case from Greater Two, Stephen C. Meyer discusses the relationship between science and religion as well as origin of life, arguing against the likelihood of abiogenesis without the assistance of a creator. So abiogenesis is, as you can see from the word genesis, and, and abi is... Uh, beginning. Right. Genesis is beginning, and, and abi is, is, or abio is yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in other words, it would be um, life occurring without any assistance from the creator and outside source basically on its own. What, what they call in the naturalistic school, I guess, a naturalistic phenomenon or singularity. Um, I think it probably would take a whole lot of faith to believe, <laughs> believe, believe in a singularity. Right. Don't you? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, again, you know, singularity uh, it goes all the way back to, to Darwin. Um, there, there's this a single cell that everything evolves from. Mm -hmm. um, you look at the uh, complexity of the brain itself. Mm -hmm. um, you know the fact that we have imagination, we have consciousness. Mm -hmm. um, do the animals have consciousness? Yeah. Do the animal uh, have imagination? Yeah. Do they, they have imagination the way the humans do? Mm -hmm. um, has it been proven that they do? Um, well, not, not, not to cut you off, but there's another thing, there's another point. Um, if, if, if we evolved from, let's say, an ape, you know, way back millions of years ago, um, how did that process, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to understand how that process came about primarily because we do have apes today and we're still um, superior uh, to these to these apes, so mm -hmm. somehow something broke off. Right, right, right. Um, whether or not the, the, the cell split and you know mm -hmm. went this direction and that mm -hmm. direction, but or whether but one species lived in one area and another species lived in right. another, and they so evolved according to their environments, which I guess probably would be, I guess Darwin's argument. Probably, but but the thing about it is the imagination and and um, our consciousness, mm -hmm. our ability to uh, think rationally. Where did all of that <laughs> come from? Um, mm -hmm. Is just because of the DNA of human mm -hmm. beings, or <laughs> well, the the naturalists um, who believe in a totally physical manifestation of reality, they, 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 you know, the materialists believe in the material world, would say that brain and consciousness are connected or one. Um, J.P. Moreland says that consciousness and the brain are separate entities, um, that they do at some levels intermingle, they do at some, some levels cross over, they do in some levels you know, work together, communicate together, whatever, but they're actually separate entities. One of the things that he, he talks about in the book, 